But just to, to touch on genre, different genres which have been experiment in, in um, Irish cinema. There was an 80s horror movie called Rawhead Rex, which was written by Clive Barker. Um, did, did you get hold of it? It was on YouTube. Did I watched the first half. It's, it's bad, isn't it? It's not a good film. Um, it's, there's a big rubbery monster. I'm surprised you haven't seen it. Huh? Uh, it's a big rubbery monster. It's like this old Gaelic demon. He based it on one of his short stories. Um, and it doesn't hold back. The kid gets killed in it and everything. It's vicious in places. Like, That's Clive um, Barker. I've never gotten into Clive Barker. I like some of the stuff. I, lo I love uh, Nightbreed. I absolutely yeah. love Nightbreed. And the weird VHS director's cut that's going around the cinemas at the moment. But, uh, so, yeah, so, uh, and again, it's not a good film, but I'm glad it was made. At least it's like, ah, oh, this is kind of the first Irish horror movie. It's set in Ireland, it's pretty much all Irish cast, apart from like an American hero. Oh, look, there's a head bouncing off a guard car. What about, what about Darby? That's a genre film, isn't it? What's that? Darby O'Gill. Darby O'Gill, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Hmm. Um, Wouldn't be a horror. That well, was I know it's very scary for an actual kid. Jeez, that scared the fucking shit out of me as a kid when the Bunchy. coach comes. Oh yeah. god, because like I'm, I'm I'm from a family that really uh, preaches that shit. The banshee. The banshee. Yeah. My dad swears that the banshee comes for every one of us. He says, "I oh, no, I remember." And he's so he's sitting there with a drink in his hand. I remember night. Um, she was sitting on the other side of our street in Fourth Street in Belfast, and she was sitting on the balcony and she was combing her hair and screaming. And what? she looked at me as she was screaming like. <laughs> And then, and then the next day, my, and, yeah, and then the next day, my granny died. That's what he says to me, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's just like uh, that's a, that's the dark side of Irish mythology. I was terrified to go out to the back of my granny's yard because she said she's seen the same thing. Oh god! Right. And then you see Darby O'Gill, and you're like, that? <laughs> oh fuck me! The optical effect that they do is so. And then when the coach comes, that's great, like, Darby O'Gill, get in. It's, oh shit. <laughs> That's a scary shit, yeah. Because yeah. it really delves into all, all the Irish mythology. It's not quite as gory as Rawhead Rex. Not quite. And it doesn't have that wonderful obligatory nudity where yeah. when a woman, it's a traveller girl, gets pulled through a window by the monster, her dress just happens to get torn off as people are yeah. trying to help her. <laughs> Rawhead Rex. So now, that didn't happen to um, Roisin Dove or Kitty, whatever her name is in Darby O'Gill. Yeah. Then the next one you have is uh, Boy Eats Girl. Boy Eats Girl. A zombie film. A zombie, a zombie Irish movie. Samantha Mumba. Uh, what do you think of it? Uh, it's, 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 it's an important movie, isn't it? It's, it's important that it was made. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But even going into the zombie genre, genre, it wasn't that bad compared to some of the other ones. Well, I've like, seen worse. I've seen worse. Yeah, but yeah. Jesus Christ, I mean, some of the oh, some of the plot points. His mother accidentally. It's such a stupid scene. He kills himself. I, I don't even know if it's meant he to be kills himself. He's pretending. No, he's pretending to hang himself. Yeah. Even though no one's looking in his room. Yeah. He's playing around, and then the mother yeah. opens the door and knocks him. Knocks the chair. It's not Maybe that was the original script. She opens the door and knocks the chair. Kills him by accident. Doesn't even realize she's killed him. And then she finds him. And then, the uh, and then it's just like uh, I was talking to a priest earlier and says he can bring back people from the dead. And that's like the opening scene. Yeah. yeah. It's like one plus one equals. Ah, I know. I'll bring him back as a zombie. And she just <laughs> brings him back as a zombie, and the whole thing starts. And also another thing with the mother is just a plot hole. She remember she crashes into the barn with the car yeah. to help them at the end, and then she gets chased out of there by zombies. Mm. That's the last time you see her. You don't know whether she gets killed sure. by them or whether she escapes. Even with the epilogue. Where he everything's back to normal, everything, everyone, everyone's cured. You don't see the mother again. It's just lost. The typically the Irish thing about that though was the the friends. Of it? Well, the shitness of it, but the friends' reaction to the zombies. I think Elmo from Love Hate was in, wasn't he? Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't watch Love Hate, but, uh, but some of it, it's, I do like that it's quite Irish. Um, there is one Gracie, me and Glenn Cooper were talking about it. Uh, it's uh, inherent nastiness that just everyone relates to. Where, uh, a girl turns into a zombie while going down on a guy in a car. Yeah. And you know, he's like, "Hey, ow, ow!" And then suddenly, a squirt of blood on the on the windscreen. It's like, "Oh, <laughs> it's effective." Did you ever see Switchblade Romance? No. Yeah, yeah. Sure. There's a very weird opening scene where you see the killer getting a blow, apparently getting a blowjob in his van, and you just see the head going up and down. Uh, uh, he lifts it up, and it's just a head. He drops it out the window and drives off. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, yeah. <laughs> It's worth a watch, Switch Blade Romance. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, then, of course, we've got Grabbers. More recent one. A uh, very recent sci-fi horror movie made last year. Did you guys see it? You yeah, didn't see it. Did you see it? Yeah. Uh, I loved it. Very funny. I thought it was great, yeah. It was actually very... It was something I was, I, I, I was going to bring up earlier, is that I think some Irish films can be great with a great central premise. It's 
the cast, the Irish cast they bring into it don't know how to act within that environment. They don't know how to. It's, look, I'm saying because they're the same as that audience at home. They can't take themselves seriously. Yeah. As movie. But but you know. what Grabbers really did is they got a uh, okay. Richard Coyle and um, English actor Russell Devoy. Yeah. yeah. You know, and they both had experience with like. Um, yeah. Like Russell Devoy was in Doctor Who. It's, it's, it's almost so, necessary. Yeah. Yeah. They had this sort of mentality that they could. T- they knew the. Li- the, how ludicrous the situation was yeah, but, they the story, they but they know how to play it but they know how to play it and give it a sense of realism you know yeah. whereas Absolutely. every every time an Irish actor is put in a role like that it seems if they're not up to the chance they, they almost want to turn and wink to the camera you know they're, like, they're either too Irish or they're trying too hard to be like a movie star to be like exactly, a yeah. movie so like, well you're kind of talking like an American screen queen why are you doing that yeah it's, it's weird and it's the same problems with that's what I'm saying about the audiences where the audiences Irish audiences can't take Irish accent seriously in those kind of scenarios. Like, Grabbers I think wasn't released the over on DVD. Or was it, it's not even released in the cinema, was it? It was. It was. It was. It yeah, was. It was. yeah, it was in the IMC here in Dundalk. Um, it reminds me a lot of Tremors. Yeah. yeah. It's it got that same like, kind of tone, um, yeah, except yeah. instead of American rednecks, it's Irish rednecks. But it's Where so... drink is the same. That's so brilliant. And your man, you know the main kind of drunk, the guy who finds one and puts it in his yeah. bath? Yeah. He's so brilliant. He's just so fucking Irish. There's a brilliant bit where they're examining the thing, and it's like a... So it's, and the English scientist, the guy from Being Human, he's, he's given one of his little science talks in the middle of the grabber. He just hits it. <laughs> <laughs> and the scientist is like, what? Why? And he's like, yeah. he's, he's like, as you were saying, you had to have someone to cut to. And it seems like during that yeah. whole film, he's the guy that he's they, the dog. Yeah. They, they cut to. Or when they get to the pub, it's the, um, it's the husband. And he's oh, yeah. the one that they have to cut back because it's always... They're in the middle of something and they're always interrupted by the wife or another member of the the pub that's in there. So it always seems to cut to him to come up with an excuse to give to them that, you know, break up the momentum of the scene yeah. and keep it going. Grabbers, I would really recommend. I thought it was very fun. I, I can't, you said the same thing to me. You were like, oh, it's it's so good. And it's Irish. It's yeah. hard to I can't believe this is Irish. And it is, it's good. It's brilliant. Feels like I should be watching something from America. <laughs> it is. This it, is what happens. It uses its budget very well for yeah. its, oh, its the effects. effects. Yeah, yes. Yeah. You don't see a lot of it at first, and then suddenly that bit where it, with that drunk again, when he turns and it's up in the corner of the room. Yeah. It's kind of shocking when that happens. Like, whoa! I didn't expect to see that. Yeah, it's 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 good stuff. I really I really enjoyed it. And the guy who plays the husband, the bar owner. Yeah. Uh, just to, I'm sorry we have to talk about this, but I want to just to get it out there. He's he was in another movie. He played. He's been in a lot of stuff. Like he played Martin McGuinness in Bloody Sunday. Mm. Um, but he was in. What I think is, I was asked recently, what do you think is the worst film ever made? And I had to say this, Zonad. Yeah. You know, fuck me, it is the oh, worst. Oh, the alien guy. Oh. Yeah. And the thing is, the guys who made it, from what I can understand, they made it as a short film in 2003 and it never got released. And Killian Murphy was in it. He was the young American jock <laughs> character in it. And I saw a clip of Killian Murphy in it. And Killian Murphy, who's great. God bless you. Sorry. <laughs> Killian Murphy, who's great. We all love him. He's terrible in it. Mm. In this scene I saw, and he's doing a really bad American accent. I was like, well, that got better. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, is, is it just, is it like Uma Thurman in Batman and Robin? Because I always liked Uma Thurman. I think she can act. She's dreadful in that. It's like the bad material rubs off. I think it's not a hell of a lot she can do with. Exactly. With exactly. Yeah. Yeah. There's only so much you can do. I'm thinking, is it the same? Is Killian Murphy just that young in it, or is it just you know sometimes? An actor gets made bad by bad material. Yeah. And but so and these two guys, like six years later, they're still obsessed with this. They should have just let it go. This it was it looked like a shitty, stupid idea for a short film. It's like, yeah. But six years later, it's Killian, Killian Murphy's moved on to Batman movies. And by two thousand nine, he's already done two Batman movies. And other and people have moved on the other and stuff like that. Yeah, and when he shakes the barley. Which but meanwhile, these two guys making a movie are they're they're, they're still in Zonad. No, seriously, this is it. This yeah. is it for us. This is the idea, man. This is going to change the world. And they finally get it. And it's the same thing again. Of all the funding for Irish movies, this is what they choose to fund. Yeah. This stupid-ass fucking movie with just dirty jokes throughout. And a really thin uh, idea. is like, he's pretending to be an alien. They don't think he's an alien. And the, the, the terrible balance where it's set up like, like an, uh, an American 50s B-movie. Like, and even like the guy in the town, he's, he lives in a mansion. He's a rich guy in the town, but he's also like an American high school jock. It's so all over the place. Like they're trying to put this in and that in, and it is. I. It's the worst thing I've ever seen, and I'm so ashamed because it's Irish. Yeah. It's just so bad. 